Alright everyone, this is Lobo and I got not one, not two, but three movie reviews to give you today. And we'll start right off with the first one, Quarantine, which came out October 10th of this year. The tagline for it says, On March 11th, 2008, the government sealed off an apartment complex in Los Angeles. The residents were never seen again. No details, no witnesses, no evidence, until now. A television reporter and her cameraman are trapped inside a building quarantined by the CDC after an outbreak of a mysterious virus which turns the humans into bloodthirsty killers. Sounds like another zombie film, right? Well, not exactly. If you watch the movie and actually pay attention to what they're saying instead of watching it just for the blood and gore, which there is quite a bit of, you'll find out that they turn it into a unique concept that hasn't been done as far as I know. Now, for those of you who have seen the previews and all that, you'll notice that they're taking the idea straight from Cloverfield and filming all this off of a camera. So it's like you're there, you're seeing everything. And I didn't have the problem with um, seeing Cloverfield, but when I saw this in theaters, I got motion sickness really quick. Now, I'm not saying it was a bad movie. I thought it was pretty decent, but the big letdown is the fact that the ending is the ending of the trailer. What you see at the end of the trailer is basically how the movie ends. That's about it. Kind of a bitch, huh? Anyway, we'll go on to our next one, which is Max Payne. This came out October 17th of the year. The plot is uh, coming together to solve a series of murders in New York City are a DEA agent whose family was slain as part of a conspiracy and an assassin act to avenge her sister's death. The duo will, will be hunted by the police, the mob, and a ruthless corporation. For those of you who don't know, Max Payne is based off of a video game which came out on the PlayStation 2 several years ago, and already you can hear people screaming, oh no, it's another movie based off of a video game. It's gonna suck balls. Well, that's not entirely true. I thought this was pretty well done. Now that's coming from someone who thought the Super Mario Bros. movie was pretty good, and just look at how that did. Now, Mark Wahlberg pulls off Max Payne surprisingly well in my opinion. The plot sticks to the video game pretty well. Um, the deal with the uh, demons flying around or the Valkyries or whatever they call them was a little bit weird but they seem to pull it off exceptionally well. And finally, we've got, last but not least, we have Saw 5. Now, let me just get this out of the way. I fucking love Saw movies. Ever since the first one, I have been hooked, and they just kept getting more and more interesting. Now, in Saw 5, the fifth installment of the horror franchise, Forensic expert Mark Hoffman is seemingly the last person alive to carry on the Jigsaw legacy, but when his secret is threatened, Hoffman must go on the hunt to eliminate all loose ends. And let me just tell you, this did not disappoint. There is a lot of new and interesting traps, and the thing is with this one, uh, there didn't seem to be as many um, like unexpected twists compared to the other ones, but of course I was kind of expecting half of them and pretty well guessed them right. The one that did kind of catch me by surprise was the room or the chambers with the five people and how that ended up turning out, which was rather interesting. Now, the tagline for this movie was, you won't believe how it ends, and let me tell you, that is an understatement. I was 
so mortified and shocked at how it ended that I was pretty much in a stunned state for, well, I'm still in a stunned state pretty much. It was just that good. Now, if they don't make a Saw 6, I'll be pissed off because they did a lot of what they've done in the previous films. Leave a lot up in the air. What's gonna happen? What was going on at this part or that part? Just a lot of stuff that would most likely be answered in the next film. Now, let me go on to grade these three movies. And I'm not gonna do like a 4 out of 5 or 90% or whatever that is all that crap. I'm gonna do it by a school grading. Now for quarantine, I was gonna give it like a B or B plus because of the um, interesting concept of how people got turned into rabid zombie-like creatures. But because the ending was that bad, I'm gonna drop it down to a B minus. It was still that pretty good but it could have been a lot better now for Max Payne since it was a movie based on a video game and it didn't totally suck I'm gonna give it a B plus because it stick to the plot pretty well and uh, had some interesting concepts that they managed to pull off really well and as for Saw 5 A plus of course it was awesome there's a lot of interesting things that happened the traps were so clever and the plot just really detailed and of course you have to watch the other movies to understand what's going on through most of it but it did not disappoint even throughout the end and the ending was probably one of the best ones in all the Saw movies alright I've talked long enough I suppose um, I'll leave you guys alone to ponder about what I've said and hope you guys go out to see these movies, especially Saw 5. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye! <laughs>